Look at that, people. Got my own personal, my own personal bottles. It's nasty. Uh. This is your man Rajay, 111, of course. And, um, man, shout out to Brent from Bones Motorsport. Man, he hooked me up with my own personal bottles. Got my name on them things now. It's Cause he hit me up, said, look man, you ain't gotta write your name on your bottles, I got you. And he damn sure did get me. My man, I appreciate that, appreciate that. So, um, this ain't this video really ain't about nothing, but I'm gonna just wanna show y'all some stuff. All right, look, he also sent me this. This is um break-in fuel. Now this but this supposed to be, um, make the break-in process a lot easier. And you see it says uh, break in on there. And you get this from Bones um, Motorsports.com. Oh, oops. Let me, um, oops. That's the website right there. Let me make sure y'all zoomed in there. That's the website right there. All right. Now, <clears throat> I talked to him on the phone. Great guy. Knowledgeable. You know a lot about fuel. He also, he is a racer too. So, he, you know, he got, he got both ends of it. But, the thing with this fuel is they give you directions here on here and I'm gonna link an article that he sent me um, about this fuel he developed this fuel with um, Neil from Clockworth or you might know him as Neil from TNS uh, but Neil you know Neil's out of business now but this fuel was developed with him and basically what it is is like say like a motor that has a lot of pinch like a Nova or something like that you want to run the whole bottle the whole bottle and first two tanks like idle and then after that giving it rpms more rpms as you get further down the bottle okay um yeah more rpms as you get further down the bottle bottle and then <clears throat> you still want to do your um heat heat uh heat cycle method like you know let it cool down piston in the bottom dead center let it cool down just start back up you're still going to do all that after you run through this court do like maybe one or two tanks and figure eights with, with a load on it, and then that should be it. That should be it. Like this um, eliminates a lot of the break-in process right here, this fuel. So this is the break-in. You get that from Bones, okay, Motorsports, all right? So shout out to Brent for sending me this, and I'm going to try this, people. We want to try this on, um, I'm going to rebuild this, um, that WRX. I'm going to rebuild this one, and um, with the new piston and sleeve. We're going to try this out on that, all right? Also, Scoop is having a race uh, October 19th. It's a Toys for Tots race. And um, I'm going to drop the flyer right here. Okay, now with that race is... um. You, if you wear a costume and a toy, so wear a costume and a toy, um, your entry fees is free, okay? So you got to do both, costume and a toy, and entry, entry fees is free. So that's uh, October 19th. Check out the flyer. And uh, come on out, man. Come on out. Have a good time. It's going to be fun. You know what I mean? We Everybody dressing up. We're just going to have a good time racing, having fun, all right? People, I'm going to show you this. This is this gimbal, right? This thing's not too bad. It just takes a little bit to get get used to, but um, it makes the video smoother. And you gotta get used to, you know, whipping this wheel around. And this is called the Xeon. Xeon. Oh, let me see if I can get you zoom in on there. I know this light is a little crazy, but you see that? That's the name of it. Called the Smooth Q. Xeon. Xeon. Smooth Q. And your phone goes in there, right? Just like that. And you gotta balance it and all that, and then you know you shoot your videos or whatever, and you can walk with it and move, and your videos are not like all choppy. You hit record, you can zoom, move this around. It's nice. I just take some time to get used to it, but we're gonna get it together. So that's why I'm trying to start using that more often. Let me show y'all this. All right, let's look at this date. Look at that, August 29th when this was sent, right? I just got this today. This is why I don't play around with the postal service without getting the insurance. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now this is a fuel gun. It's called a quick fill gun. Nothing really crazy. You fill it up, put it in your um, 
um, gas tank, boom, fills your gas tank up in like a second, like 1.3 seconds or something like that, real fast. And I'm going to show you how this works, but I'm going to tell you something. It says automatic shut off. It's not automatic with a trigger going to release. What happens is, you see these little holes here? They got to be in your tank. So when you put this thing in here, man, you got to have that thing flushed in there with the tank. And that way, it will um it will stop the, f the fuel. And then you let off the trigger. Boom, do everything one dip, like one shot. All right. Little cap on the back. You fill it up. Let me see. Little cap. And you fill it up right there. And, um... You see this cat, people? This cap is a good thing. Man, Dion got this gun right. And Dion cat was missing. It was so hard to keep. You had to hold it like this for it to fill out. Dion, Dion, you read, looking at the video. See this cat? Get a cap, you cheap bastard. He had the thing all messed up. Like, it, it was crazy before you spill the fuel. But, anyway, so. This thing will save you seconds in the pits. And, and when you pit, and then all them seconds matter. Big time. It's the protect called quick fill gun and the easier way to you can mark it like say you got like buggy truggy and you can fill the fuel up to there or just you know squeeze the trigger boom all right so i'm gonna show you all this we're gonna do a demonstration i gotta get the car because i'm getting ready to clean these cars up and stuff and um i'll show you a demonstration of that all right so fill your gun up regular you know like you regular filling it up see it don't leak they do sell rebuild kits for these guns um, because eventually this will leak. It just does. But all right, the key to this is so, got your tank. And you pull back. You see how you want that thing? You don't want to be cocked because it's going to keep on flowing. You want that thing straight in there like that. You want it straight up and down. See what I mean? Like boom. Not like this or something like that because it's going to keep on rolling. So you want to pull back, put it in there, and then squeeze. Boom, see how I cut off? Take it out, done. Just like that. See that? All right, people. But again, shout out to my man, Brent, from Bones Motor Sports. Man, I appreciate you, brother. Y'all see that all day? Look at that customization. Mm.